Yeah, I took the PSAT 10. Huh? Why take it? Because it tells you if you're ready for the SAT. And then the SAT tells you if you're ready for college. And who doesn't want to go to college? You don't have to sign up for the PSAT 10 if you're a sophomore because you're already required to take it in March. But you can bring one of these opt-out papers to the supervision center and you don't have to take it. When you take the test, make sure to bring your ID card so they know that you're real. Make sure to bring two pencils with erasers in case you mess up. And for the math part, make sure to bring an approved calculator, but don't share it with anyone because that's cheating. Plus, if you're having some real troubles, the website can give you free, personalized, online practice. You can't bring a dictionary or any other books. Ah! Remember guys, for the PSAT, you're not allowed to bring any cameras, recording devices, computers, or cell phones. Also, eat a good breakfast. Definitely don't bring highlighters, pens, colored pencils, forget geometry instruments, and no scratch paper, okay? Make sure you guys get plenty of sleep and get some good food before you take the PSAT, in that order. Well, I mean, those are important to live, let alone take a test. I mean, who doesn't do that? Good, good luck, luck on, on the PSAT! PSAT.